for Ministers' Council convenes extraordinary meeting over Palestinian developments. And leaders of Turkey, Russia and Iran set to tackle Syria turmoil. Welcome back to the details. Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli reiterated that the government seeks to raise the economic growth rates on an ascending scale by the year of 2022. Madbouli asserted the keenness on enhancing the role of the private investments to boost the government's efforts and improving the environment of business in Egypt. This came in the Premier's speech during the inauguration session of the 43rd round of the Arab Banks and Funding Institutions Council with the attendance of 200 Arab economic and banking figures. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri met his Kenyan counterpart, Monica Duma, on Sunday. The meeting tackled means of promoting bilateral ties and exchanging views towards regional and African issues of mutual concern. At a press conference following their meeting, Shukri said the talks over Ethiopia's Grand Renaissance Dam would be held later. The minister said Egypt values Ethiopia's developmental rights and is also seeking to protect the rights of downstream countries. For her part, Kenya's foreign minister said Egypt and Kenya cooperate in many fields, especially in trade. Within the framework of the police forces' efforts to combat terrorism, says the terrorist group in Al Galbana district in North Sinai, in a statement released by the ministry, the group was preparing to launch a number of terrorist attacks in the area. The statement added that the forces killed all terrorists and confiscated weapons while three officers and a soldier were injured during the operation. The ministry reiterated legal measures were taken and the Higher State Security Investigation Office was tasked with the probe. Minister of Endowments Dr. Mohammed Mukhtar Gumai, the head of the Higher Council for Islamic Affairs Council, inaugurated on Sunday the 30th International Conference of the Council. The two-day event is being entitled The Modern View on Islamic Jurisdiction for Establishing States. The conference held under the auspices of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and is being attended by 57 countries including 20 African states. The Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of the Islamic Conference Member States convenes an extraordinary meeting in the organization, organization's general headquarters in Saudi Arabia city of Jeddah. The meeting is held to discuss Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's election pledge to confiscate parts of the further occupied West Bank if he wins the election. Saudi Arabia called the extraordinary meeting last Tuesday after Netanyahu's announcement. It called on governments and international organizations to condemn and to announce their rejection to the announcement of Netanyahu and to consider any measure in that regard null and void of legal consequences that would jeopardize the historical rights of the Palestinian people. The Arab League condemned on Sunday unmanned plane attacks by the Houthi militias on oil installations in Saudi Arabia. In a statement by the Arab League, um, the, uh, the uh, Arab body said the attacks present a dangerous escalation by the Houthis and those behind them. Egypt's foreign ministry had expressed the solidarity with the government and people of Saudi Arabia and support for measures needed to protect the security and stability of the kingdom against all forms of terrorism and fanatism. Head of the Media National Authority, Hussein Zain, received an Emirati media delegation to discuss means of fostering cooperation between Egypt and the United Arab Emirates. The meeting tackled means of boosting news and programmatic exchange, as well as activating joint training programs in the coming period. Zain stressed the importance of enhancing coordination and consultation with the UAE on various media issues and developing the message of media in the Arab region. Both sides appraised the fruitful media cooperation between the two countries during the past years. Rarely has the outcome of an election been so uncertain in Tunisia. The cradle and partial success story of the so